PhD students can choose to carry out a research project in a wide range of chemistry areas, ranging from atmospheric chemistry to materials chemistry to green chemistry and organic chemistry. My research involves looking at ways to overcome antibacterial resistance of drugs. It's a multidisciplinary project that involves synthetic organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and then biology. We're just starting out on a European research grant in my group at the moment with over half a million pounds of funding and we're going to work together with groups from Spain, Italy, France, the Netherlands and that's going to allow us to become a network that leads the way in training young scientists to do nanochemistry. We use analytical techniques to work out how bacteria can derive energy from really unusual fuels like hydrogen and carbon monoxide and understanding these reactions is really important in developing new antibiotic drug targets. In my research generally involves a lot of work with computers. I do a little bit of programming, some optimization of structures using different quantum chemical packages and I specialise in magnetic shielding calculations. Once they've developed the techniques they can take them out into the field and they've been to places such as um, London, the Arctic and even the rainforest in Borneo.